Hello, this is Angus Warren. Today we're going to be looking at government take and how to calculate it. So I have a scenario here on a PowerPoint slide where a government has signed a production sharing contract with an investor which has the following terms. And we've been asked to calculate the government take as a percentage. So the royalty is 12.5% in this production sharing contract. The cost recovery is a third, 33.3% and the profit oil split is 50% to the government and 50% to the investor. We're told that the income tax is a further 30%. So there are many ways to, to do this calculation and um, one way I'm presenting to you here uh, using this spreadsheet is to uh, make an assumption about the oil price and calculate the take from there. So in this scenario, I've assumed the oil price is $60 a barrel. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever oil price you choose. It will not change the calculation. And so we have chosen $60 per barrel, and we calculate the amount that goes to the contractor and the amount that goes to the government. So the first thing that we must do is take out the royalty. Now, we're told the royalty is 12.5%. So 12.5% of $60 is $7.50, which of course goes to the government. The remaining is of course $60 less $7.50, which is $52.50. We're told that the cost recovery is a third, 33%, and a third of $52.50 is $17.50. This means there is $35 remaining, and it's this $35 that effectively represents the profit oil. So here we have $35 to share 50% of the government and 50% to the contractor. So here is the contractor's amount, $17.50, and here is the government's amount, $17.50. Now we know that the contractor must pay an income tax on its profits. So the contractor pays 30% of $17.50, which is $5.25. And of course, this shows up on the government side, the same $5.25. So what are the gross revenues? Well, the gross revenues to the contractor are simply $17.50 plus $17.50 less $5.25, which of course is $29.75. And the gross revenues to the government are $7.50 plus $17.50 plus $5.25, which comes to $30.25. Uh, the little check that I do here is that these two gross revenue figures, $29.75 and $30.25, should add up to the oil price, should add up to the $60 up here, and of course they do. But when it comes to government take calculation, we really need to understand where the share is after costs are taken out. So we must look at the contractor amount and take out costs from gross revenues. So $29.75 less $17.50 leaves $12.25. Of course, the government has no costs, so its net cash flow is $30.25. And so we calculate the government and investor take based on these two numbers here. Their total, of course, is $42.50. And this is our basis. $12.25 out of $42.50 is 29% to the contractor. And $30.25 out of $42.50 is 71 cents. 71%, excuse me. And so that is the government take expressed as a percentage. And so there you have it. That is government take calculated. If you'd like to find out more about these types of calculations and the importance in your negotiations with governments and other stakeholders, please take a look at our website, www.warrenbusinessconsulting.com. Thank you.